Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is Extinguisher10 and today we are doing a new kind of video or at least new for MLB The Show. We are going to do um, a kind of a how-to video from a beginner's perspective. I've never played, at least until this year, Diamond Dynasty and I want to show you what I have learned in the last, uh, let's see, it came out uh, about three months ago. So what I have learned in approximately the last three months and it has been quite a bit and so for you beginners this should be huge and very valuable and for the people who've been playing this a while you probably know all this but I might show you something because this game is very deep very expansive so I might even show you something that you don't know and if you see something that I'm saying wrong or something that um, you can do better than what I'm saying I would really appreciate it if you told me down below in the comment section uh, really what I should be doing. And with all that being said, let's get into it. So this is your manage squad team, or this is your manage squad screen. Here's all the players that I have, at least as far as my, uh, <laughs> whoa, uh, stroking out there. Um, for my starting lineup, it's um, not what some people have, but it's pretty good for me. And I'm uh, 57 bronze. And yeah, let's get to the first one, or at least the first tip. And that is to, we go over here into the collect tab. In fact, let's let's go back over here. This is your home screen. This will show you really kind of too much. It's a bit overwhelming. Down here is your missions. I will show you the relevance of that later, but I want to show you something a little more important. And we're going to move over here to collect. And you want to choose your team affinity. Mine is the Mariners. And you can go down here to team affinity. And as you can see, a 0%, 0%, 10% with the Yankees. I had quite a few Yankees players. So you have different levels or tiers. I'm not sure what you want to call it. But as you can see, I have five out of 70. I have already redeemed Petco Park. And once I hit level 10 or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to get this pack of four live series players of San Diego Padres. Padres. Wow. Blah. <laughs> so the way you do this, well, in fact, if you look over here, hit the arrow, uh, we are at five of 70 and you can do it and you can earn these points by doing any of these four things. So March to October, this is a huge thing that you can do to get yourself a lot of points semi-quick. You can blow through a season in probably one solid day, but you've got to dedicate a lot of time in that day. So you just have to play through one season of March to October, and depending on the season, depends on how many points you get if you go with rookie, you can get 32 and 32 is the minimum that you would get if you went and won the world series of course you can see that the first two levels all-star break and end of season evaluation those are four to eight so potentially add another eight more points so you could potentially get 40 if you played on rookie probably most of us aren't going to but if you're new you just might i did my first one on rookie and it was way too easy and i'm not very good at this game so veteran, that's probably what I'll do the next time. And as you can see, 42 can potentially get more because there's a 4 to 11 and 4 to 11 again on the first two tiers. So you can potentially get quite a bit more. So you would potentially get up to 56 if you just max it all out. But 42 to 56, and that would put you, we're gonna back out here and 42 minimum, that would get you all the way over to here. So that would get you this Petco car Park. It would get you this four live series player pack. It would get you a universal icon, which I'm not even sure what they're for. 2000 stubs, which is nice. This gold Adrian Morhan. Yeah, Morhan, we'll go with Morhan. And yeah, starting pitcher 83. He's not gonna be fantastic, but as you can see, he's left-handed. Lefties are very important. And then you would get this universal nameplate a church bell and three team affinity packs so the same as what we saw before but three of them so that gets you that many more padres and of course the next step ooh, ooh. so that would get you already so we're at 42 bare minimum that might even get you as high as uh, this 88 diamond fernando tatis jr card which would be fantastic at least as far as far as you're doing with the uh, the padres Every team has similar tiers, so expect something similar. I just kind of jumped in the Padres because that's who I was looking at. 
and it keeps going and going and you get more packs more stubs more nameplates more packs another pack uh balling is a habit uh or balling sorry i think it gu guarantees you a gold player in this pack along with a few others 3,000 stubs, 120. This is where it really starts getting good. You thought that Fernando Tatis was good. This Taylor Trammell, left fielder, 94 diamond. Wow. I mean, look at this guy. His power is halfway decent. Lefties, it's not that good. But versus righties, who you're going to face more of, it's good enough. Great contact. This guy would be a stud. I'd love to have him if I could get that far, but as you can see, I'm at 5 of 70. Another way to get a small one is play these moments. Padres is just the start, and let's click on it. So in this case, this moment, everybody's moment is different, but this is a case where you are playing as Padres face of the franchise, Fernando Tatis Jr. Recreate his Major League debut by tallying two hits without striking out more than once. So that's your entire goal, and if you accomplish this, it gets you three points. Let's hit it with the arrow and 100 stubs, 400 XP. So that's kind of nice. It should hopefully be quick for you. And this is for collecting players. If you can collect, as you can see down at the bottom, 10 players, it will get you 200 stubs and 2000 XP. 20 gets you 200 and 2500. 30 players gets you 400 stubs and 3000 XP. By the way, you get all the previous ones too. So it really adds up pretty good. And if you collect them all, you get 1,500 stubs, 3,500 XP, and a bronze Steve Finley. Can we look at him? Uh, bronze? Sorry. 87 diamond Steve Finley. Uh, each team has a really wide swing. To me. So the better the team, the better the reward. But unfortunately, also the more difficult it is to accomplish that. So it'd be great to have the Steve Finley, and you would just have to collect every single one of these players as you can see i could do 14 out of 40 that would get me the first tier and almost halfway to the next tier not that great but you know what i could probably put a little bit of money in these lower guys get closer but the main deal is getting that last one and they've got some gold guys they've got some silver lots of bronze lots of whatever the black circle is cheap that's what they are so it wouldn't be too tough i actually probably could get the steve finley the tough part would be getting getting this kirby yates and if we went over to the marketplace i'd have to if i were to buy him and not earn him or just luckily draw him it would be about nine thousand. it looks like uh yeah a little over nine thousand stubs that it would cost me maybe even closer to 10. so yeah that would be a costly transition how can we get him and yeah, it looks like we can get them quite a few different ways, either from a show pack, daily reward, or daily login reward, or post game reward. So yeah, there's that. That would be nice to get that Kirby Yates. But that is uh, that's one great way to get these players. And if you didn't know, every time you complete a game, you get a player card. So most of the time, there you're probably going to be looking at someone in this range. Not too good. Every once in a while, maybe this range. If you're really lucky, every once in a while here, or maybe even up here, probably the best best guy I had was somewhere in the ballpark of like 79. You don't get very good ones very often from that, but it adds up, and that's, I mean, that's how I got all of these guys. So as you play the game, and if you play short games, that's a great way to get these cards quicker, because of course, if you play three inning games, that's gonna get you these guys, well, three times as quick. So now we're gonna back out and that's how you do the collections and into the missions as you can see at this top one 250 innings with san diego players and this is any diamond dynasty mode doesn't have to be online so conquest something like that that will count towards it and as you can see it's repeatable and that's probably how i got it oh no it was with tally rbis with uh sorry rbi with padres players third short or left field i have manny machado so that's definitely how i got that and that's repeatable so it'll slowly stack up i think machado is the only padre i have so that's why it's taking so long but yeah and i'm not even sure what these are they're exchanges so basically you have to play the showdown and you have to do really well i'm not good enough to do that so i won't ever get that but uh oh an exchange oh no sorry exchange rival players so I can exchange all these guys, but the problem is they are gone. They are off my roster, and these exchanges, while you can do them, they're not really worth it. Because, well, here, look at this. I'm going to load up five guys 
and it gets me 1%. Granted, it's the bottom, and let's go all the way to the opposite side, and oh, really, that's it? There's more pages. <laughs> that might help. So going to the complete opposite end, I don't have anyone here. Let's go to the nicest one that I have. And Buster Posey 79, he got me up from 1% to 10%, so he's worth 9%. So if you're willing to give up, uh, let's see, probably 11 Buster Poseys or someone of that nature, that's what it would take to get you this, um, this reward. And is it worth it? No, you. there's so much better uses for them, especially for the higher end guys. You're gonna wanna use them to accomplish these goals. So we're gonna back out. That's how you do do it with the Team Affinity. In fact, we're gonna do it, go down to the Mariners, check this out real quick. I'm actually along to stage two and just keep repeating that. All that fun stuff, let's go to the down to the moments. I did that. Uh, it's not gonna show it here, but I did do a uh, March to October. That's what really got me going. That's where I got my diamond, Kyle Seeger. And right now I am really, really super close. I am seven points away from getting this diamond Evan White. And so it really helps to load up on players that you wanna play with on one specific team. And then I would have a secondary team. I think pretty soon we're gonna run into stage three and then we'll be able to start earning four more more rewards and of course stage four it basically takes you year round so you'll get to keep building as time goes on it's just not a reward that you build to and get these nice things and then you stop it keeps going year round that's why this is my number one tip for you is to build into your team affinity so the next thing and this is something that helps playing any game mode your xp reward path no matter what game mode you play it builds towards your xp and the higher you go, the more that you get. And like, this is the first one. We got one of these players. That was fantastic. I think I either got Babe Ruth, Rob Nan out of them. Evolution, that got me. Ugh. These guys weren't very good. I got the Dennis Eckersley gear up, all kinds of stuff, flashbacks and legends. Still, they're again, not that good. I think I got the Lee Smith out of them. But as you keep going, they're gonna get better. That's, uh, oh, that, I got that Chipper Jones. He's actually plays really well, a uh, classic player. Ooh. Yes, uh, this Alex Reyes plays very nicely and you just keep going and going. You kind of go back to the same packs as you can see. So my next step is 60. The next one, Legend 65, should be there in a couple weeks. These guys are really nice. Yeah, I'm actually really excited for this. I have lots of bats, mainly because I've been fo focusing on that because I don't hit particularly, particularly well cannot speak today uh so i'm definitely going to go with one of these diamond starting pitchers i only have one guy who's above like an 83 for starting pitcher so one of these 88s will be fantastic for me and it just keeps going and going and ooh, high diamond at an 80 yeah 99 Corey kluber 95 ricky henderson and so on 98 95 96 yeah you just keep going and going and going and you and like i said before you earn this playing any mode so if you don't feel like playing diamond dynasty don't fret you will actually be working towards it in a way by playing road to the show your franchise any of that helps get you the xp towards this so that's not really something that you can focus on it's just something that you get by playing the game but it's good to be aware of and the next most important thing i would say is the programs and there's four different programs let's start with the featured programs we actually saw this at the opening screen right now we are in the fourth inning as you can see in the fourth inning program, I am at 10 of 900 earned and we just started it. So you start over each time. So next thing up is gear up and then the selfie time, uh, universal player icon, unlockables. Ooh, okay, so it's uh, some kind of bat slam. That's cool. And 100, that's where you start getting excited. You get one of these headliners packs. In this case, it's an increased chance to find all-star flashback, Miguel Cabrera. But these headliner guys, they are quite good. So 100 would be exciting to get to. And then after that, the fourth inning pack. Ooh, one of these diamonds. You always want a diamond. Chris Archer, Ryan Braun, or Ted Williams. Ooh, I want that Ted Williams. Even though I don't need more hitters, I want Ted Williams. Yeah, that would be nice. But anyway, it's kind of like the XP program, but you do this by earning other things. Oh yeah, and that fourth inning collection would get me 75. That's nice. So Conquest, in Team Affinity, it does not count towards your online innings logged for your players, but it does log towards just your general players innings logged. As you see, there was just innings and then 
online innings. So it'll help with that, not with the online. So keep that in mind. It's good, but not great. And so you get 30 of these, which for me would, of course, get me these next two levels. And by completing the fourth inning challenge quest, that's what it would do. And oh, I hit it and it took me right over here. And maybe I'll do a video in the future on the best way to accomplish these. It's pretty easy once you get your rhythm down, but it does take a little bit of time to kind of figure it out. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll do a video on that too. But anyway, that is actually a pretty fun mode, at least for me. You play three inning games, so you get through your games a lot quicker. You earn those small player cards that much quicker, which help you out. Oh, I got bumped out. Must have hit the wrong button. We're going back in. So Conquest, that's a fun one. That's a good way to earn up your XP for this. And also for your team affinity too, if you play your players for the team. And then of course missions, uh, win 10 games in ranked season games. So you got to play online versus guys, win 10 games in ranked seasons, battle royale or events or online, tally total bases with rookie or future stars players. Showdown, you have to play showdown. And if you get through the fourth inning showdown, you get 70. I'm not good enough to complete it, but for those of you who are, uh, that's a great way to get 70. I mean, 70, that would put me right here. That would get you a good distance and only 20 away from this nice headliner pack. And then your dailies. This is something that I started doing recently and we'll go in and let's see here. So for me, this top one is the one that I do the most. It only gets you two, but you can do a few of these each day, every day. And so this is just play 15 innings with Atlanta Braves players in any Diamond Dynasty games. So it does not it does not say online, so you can play Conquest. So in my Conquest games, I'll throw in a Brave player or two. I have Chipper Jones, that might be the only one. So I just play him every inning of every game. And after 15 innings, bam, you get your two points. And there you go. So Conquest, I can't talk highly enough about it. It gets you XP towards, well, in fact, let's go back and we'll go over to play and then over to Conquest. So that gets you XP towards, uh, I gotta stop switching screens, uh, towards your XP rewards path because everything does. Plus, if you play your players from your team affinity, it, build towards, it builds towards that. And of course, the player programs, if you play those players, it also builds towards that. Of course, you max out at nine players because, well, you field nine players in each game. And so, you know, there's, there's a limit to it, but you kind of get a feel for, you know, what do I want to prioritize? Okay, I want to get this Braves one, but I don't have, I only have one Braves player. So, boom, there's my Braves guys. And then I'm going to load up on as many Mariners as I can. And then just good guys. My number two team is probably the Yankees, so I might throw a Yankee or two in there. And there you go. You're building up innings very quickly. And of course, you want to succeed because that's more XP. And then also with going back to the conquest, if you hit square, it gives you all these steps here, or at least with each step or accomplishment, you get more stubs, you get more XP. In this case, you get a show pack, more stubs and XP. There's another show pack by accomplishing that. Yeah, it's all good things. And of course that helps with the fourth inning, or at least when you played the fourth inning goals. I also did the Mother's Day that helped with the third inning. Same with the third inning. I think I accomplished all of these. Yeah, so I got all the stuff there. And yeah, it doesn't give you great rewards, at least in the innings, but they're okay. It's just, it's kind of a trickle effect. It all adds up. I didn't start doing this, as you can see, until the third inning. inning. Uh, the map, or the starter map, uh, probably the biggest thing of value or of noteworthy. Oh, it's not showing you. Well, Bings, it doesn't show you. You can get, oh, there we go. Uh, if you hit triangle, it will show you rewards. You can get this 75 Tim Tebow. So if you're just starting out, I would go with that because a 75 Tim Tebow is not a bad thing to use uh, early on. And yeah, that would be a good thing to have. Unfortunately, at this point, I have no use for him, but we're, we're talking more for beginners. And this one, this is one that is, well, here, let's load it up. That's going to take you a long time, even if you're good at it. But the rewards are massive. As you can see, look at all that XP, all the stubs. And if you complete it, well, even if you just get, uh, let's see here, goal 11, ever growing fan base, acquire 250 million fans. You don't even have to complete it to get this far, but 84 Frank Thomas, even if you get to the point where he's not good enough to be your starting first baseman because, well, he can't field 
He can still hit. He'd be a good bench bat for you. So he'd be a good one to have. But the best player card here is definitely this Willie Mays. And of course, look down here. You have 10 the show packs. That would be great. But this 87 Willie Mays uh, it doesn't do particularly great versus righties. But if you're starting off and you just ground it up, ground the ground, if you grind this out really early, you've got a really great player. I mean, look at his defense, 92 speed, 88 arm, just fantastic. But versus lefties, he's fantastic. 98 contact, 73 speed. The questionable aspect is him versus righties, 59 and 59 for contact and power. When you're starting off, that's probably fine because of the great defense. And then if someone throws the lefty in here, he will make you pay. He'll be a valuable piece for you. So uh, not this is mode isn't for everybody, but it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like risk, which I really like the game. So yeah, it's it's a great way to just kind of get some casual gameplay in. So that's your fourth inning player program. All the innings work very, very similar to that. Now we're going to go to the player program, one that I've worked a lot more. Ah, Omar Vizquel, that's what they're talking about. So I'm going to have to jump in there and check that out, see what that's like. As you can see, I did the Curtis Granderson and the Kerry Wood. I'm a decent pitcher, at least compared to my hitting. So I kind of plowed through this. It's playing moments, and I just went through and did all these moments. It took me a couple hours, just grinded it through. I got 500 stubs, player pack, 1,000 stubs, two more player packs, and then this 85 carry wood closer, which, I mean, he's pretty dominant. I had to do that. Did I have to do anything in the missions? I don't remember. Yes, I had to tally strikeouts with relief pitchers online. Not too tough. So I definitely recommend you doing the carry wood relatively easy, and but it all depends on your skill set too. Keep that in mind. So yeah, I mean, you just go and you play the moments. You see what, uh, what challenges there are and everything. Missions, sorry, it's missions. But anyway, that is a great way to get some players is these moments, or not necessarily moments, but these player programs, and they're all different. So you have to go through and just kind of explore them and have fun with it. So then the next one down, monthly rewards. We are, hey, where's my June? Where's my June, damn it, we're in June. Well, I guess I'll go into May. And apparently I have done nothing with this. So yeah, I've played none of these rewards. I've accomplished none of these missions, but they're things that you can do. And there again, it's another path to get some good players. Who wouldn't want an 86 Brandon Crawford? So yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it, find what works for you because you can't do it all without just playing and playing and playing the game. So that's one where I didn't really play it. So then you go down to the prestige player programs and oh, you're loading a little slow here. And so normally with these, you have to get a player and then you kind of level them up. I'm not sure, sure how it works with this Felix one. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Uh, collect Felix Diamond 96. And it looks like he can get up to a Diamond 98. Okay. So he gets up to there, but you still have to get that Diamond. Yeah, you just do some of this stuff, but you have to get the player to accomplish it with these, which makes it kind of difficult. And that's why I don't have any progress with any of these, but it is a route that if you're interested in, you can follow and they get, well, as you can see, pretty freaking good. So it's definitely worth looking into if that is a route that you want to go. And that's everything for the programs. We are going to go over now to created player. This is another way. And unfortunately, it does take away from any team affinity or anything like that that you're working towards. But it's just another revenue or it's just another route on how to get good players. So I did a catcher. You create a guy and well, here, let's go back. You go into create and edit player, do all kinds of different animations, edit what he looks like, equipment, all that stuff. And you can actually, oh, I'm going to back up one more time. Sorry. E equipment. You can actually load up all this stuff that you can also use in Diamond Dynasty and it helps improve his stats. In stage one here, we've got moments and I've accomplished all of them. It took a while. The last, uh, let's see, the Buffalo and I think Mexico's Finest, maybe the Kraken. One of those I really had trouble with, but I finally got them all done. And you just slowly build your player up. You go from here to here to here to here to here. We're at an 85. I chose the contact focused. Really excited to get up to 100. You can also collect players. So we'll go in with bronze. And I just collected all these catchers and just boink, boink, boink. And I just can't can't sell them. Have to have to have them on the team. And it's for bronze, silver, gold. Of course, these gold guys kind of want to have, I mean, gold, not, not a bad 
player to have. So yeah, we got our points out of that. It was three each, not great, but at least you don't lose the use of these players. So collecting a player, I would much rather do than to exchange it because at least you get to keep him and be able to use him if you want to. And it's good to have a good bench because if you're doing, say, you want to get these Cleveland Indian innings in, or no, the Braves innings for the daily rewards. Oh, well, I normally don't have Braves players. Wait, I've got a 75 guy that I can throw in there that I've already collected. I can't get rid of him. Let's throw him in the lineup. Let's get our innings in. He's not going to drag the team down that much. And there we go. Boom, I got my points. So it's good to have that extra depth. And, God, I'm just yammering along. But, 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 but. Here are your missions. Of course, playing 100 innings gets you 10. I already did that. 150 online. I'm mostly to that. That will get me to right there because I'm at 80. So that'll get me to 120. I'll be able to get this 89. I'm probably going to go with a balanced focused. Uh, yeah, really excited for that. And that's maxed out as far as player. After that, you get this gear up, this nameplate, and this bat, which it doesn't show the stats. Oh, sorry. It's not even a bat. It's a bat skin, but it'll probably make it look pretty cool and probably help out with the stats with whatever you stick it to, too. I don't actually know if that's true. That's speculation. But yeah, so once I get my innings in, that will get me to where I want to be pretty much because the other guys, eh, not so much. But once I get the hits and more hits, that'll get me even farther. And yeah, you'll be maxed out. So it's just mostly using him, but also um, using him well. And another way that you can upgrade your players or well, not really upgrade your players, but trade them in for higher ones is you go into exchange here and you go in and let's say you have all these common players, you can go and exchange them and it all adds up on, oh, I have two of them. So two of him, one of him. And as you can see, it just kind of slowly adds up. Go on to the next page, boom, boom, boom. And you get the idea. So. You just add all these guys up, you trade them in, and it will get you a pack. In this case, it will give you a bronze player. Now, the problem with doing this, and I've, I did it a lot at first when I saw it, and I was like, oh, this is a great way to make use of these lower players, is if you, it, it's kind of okay with the lower, lower ones, but you gotta be careful, because if you go and exchange this these 64 guys and get a 66, is that really worth getting rid of all these guys? You might say yes, because it's better and eventually you have to get rid of them. But I say no because, and that's where you go down to collections and there's all these collections. And of course, remember you can't get rid of these guys once you collect them, but this is a very good one, especially it goes along with your team affinity, go over to live series. And in this case, I'm going to go over to where to go. There's the Mariners, we did that. And it got us a Robinson Cano for getting them all. And yeah, it's, I mean, an 81 Robinson Cano isn't that great. But if you're starting off and you've got some stubs that you can spend from playing what else or whatever else, you've been playing other game modes and you've built up all this currency, go out and buy every Mariner that you don't have and it'll get you an 81 Robinson Cano and it'll get you all these stubs back too. I mean, 200, then 200, then 400, then 1500. That's 2,300 stubs right back. Yeah, it's gonna cost you more, but you're gonna have all these players that you can use towards your team affinity. So it kind of, it's it's one layer on top of another, on top of another. As you can see, we're at 38, but it gave me credit for all because they added two Mariners. Must have signed as free agents or something or added them. Oh no, Jake Fraley is one of them. I know that's, for, well, as you can see, he's not collected. And I know that because they didn't have him in the game for some silly reason. Who's the other guy? Sat Grotz, whoever that guy is, I don't know. But it's it kind of goes together. The rewards isn't that great, at least with a team like this, but it goes with that team affinity. And let's say I went and worked hard for, you know, I could go with the Yankees because I've already got a decent amount of Yankees on the team. And it would get you this 92 Jason Giambi. I mean, look at that power, the contact. Okay, the speed, you don't want to look at that. But he's a first baseman. So yeah, don't worry about the defense too much, but he can mash and that is the big thing. So that would be really nice, but you also have to collect these three diamonds, all these ball, um, 
almost said gold and bronze at the same time. All these gold players, if you stack up teams within your division, you can go over to the divisional one. So I just went to AL West. I already have Robinson Cano, the one that you get for completing the Mariners. Let's say you eventually get through all of these other teams. And by getting all of these other studly players, you get a 94 Billy Wagner. Boy, do I want a 94 Billy Wagner. But I've played this game enough to probably get any more than maybe one or maybe two of these. But that is another way to stack up your players. And if you focus on, say, your team and then teams in, your, in that same division, that's a great way to build up the team affinity for your main team and then your secondary teams. And it'll also get you towards these other rewards that you can get. It all just stacks on top of each other. And if you're a freaking monster and insane and have absolutely no life, no offense, um, if you collect everyone in each division, then you can get at least in the American League, this 99 Craig Biggio. What a monster. Second base, catcher, left field, center field. Boy, do I want him. Can I buy him? Can I buy a marketplace? No, I can't buy him. That is too bad. 90 speed, 90 steel. Look at his fielding. His, I mean, his power is the worst thing, and it's 79 and 80. Boy, do I want that, but there's no way I can get it. And yeah, if you collect everybody in Major League Baseball, you get this Mickey Mantle 99 diamond and I mean he's a 99 diamond look at it it's insane just I'm just gonna drool a little bit right here and yeah oh I wonder about uh, free agents and we get nobody interesting okay so yeah that doesn't get you anywhere with that but uh, yeah get you some more stubs and kind of lastly this is one is uh, not as much about playing the game it's more about playing the system and we're gonna actually back out of Diamond Dynasty and we're gonna go over to Community, the Community Market, and then MLB Cards. And I would say keep an eye out for players dropping in price just ridiculously out of nowhere. You're probably not gonna see that with these, at least nothing that you wanna get. Holy cow, nearly half a million stubs for this Manny Machado. Wow! But these are sorted in order of how good they are, so. Let's see, we have 98, 98, 97, bunch of 97s, 96. So I would say your best value as far as on this page is this 96 Cy Young at 15 and a half thousand stubs. Cause I mean, what do you want to do? Go up and get, I don't know, this uh, would be a good one. This 97 Dustin May for way more. I mean, it's one overall better and yet you're paying 75,000 more stubs. He can't be that much better. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. And you can always hit the square button to do searches. And like, I'm I'm always looking out for the Mariners to help out my team affinity. And so we'll just scroll over to Mariners and we'll just look at them all. And yeah, keep an eye out for someone who is ridiculously low in price because it might not uh, last very long. So like, let's say this Austin Nola, Nola <laughs> let's say this Austin Nola was really low. It's only three below the next one, but let's say it was, someone put it up for 80 instead of 180 and you don't have the Austin Nola and you have some use for him. Buy it. Don't hesitate. Just buy it. So that's, that's one way to kind of get some cards easy, but I wouldn't go out of your way too much to do that. Just kind of if you're in there and you see it, go for it. But otherwise, uh, focus on your team affinity. I'm going to go with the Athletics, or I'm going to go with the Rangers, or the Astros. Oh. Sorry, that was my garbage can. And you just go and, and kind of have a secondary, and I'm going to fill out my team with the best players from that team. So you're kind of building two at once. So yeah, I think that's really about it for my tips and tricks for beginners because I'm a beginner and this is what I've learned for building a Diamond Dynasty team. Son of a bitch, I didn't even have the goddamn lights on. And of course, just now as I'm wrapping up the video, I just realized my lights were off, so here here you go. It's, it's a little brighter for you. Uh, yeah, light up my face a little bit. But I really hope you found this video informational. I took, I mean, the record time here is just over an hour. I'm gonna, of course, edit this down because I ramble a lot and I have a lot to cut out. But I really hope that you enjoy the time that I took out to help you with what I learned. And of course, if you're a veteran of this game, 
and you've played a lot of Diamond Dynasty and you see something that I said that was wrong or maybe you just have other tips, let us know in the comment section down below. Help me help all the other people who watch this video. We'd all appreciate the help because, hey, we're all beginners. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave her a big old like. It really helps out the channel. And if you think anybody else you know would benefit from this or any other videos on the channel, why don't you jump on down and hit that share button. Really help, just spread it all around. And if you wanna see more videos like this, jump on down, hit that big red subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And until next time, this is Extinguisher10 signing out. Have a great rest of your day.